So this is the window and it's the, 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 the left window and it's made in three sections. Um, so I'm going to make it this one piece of uh, this one piece of uh, fused glass is going to be treated as a whole. I'm not going to cut it into you know around the flowers and the leaves and the stems. Just going to treat it with the powder and fire it in one go. Um, and I will. I will do all three pieces at the same time so that I get a nice flow through, hopefully. So that's piece number one. And I'll do the same for the others. You could probably see in that last picture um, video that I have cut the uh, background panels bigger than I need them. Um, and that's partly obviously because they're going to shrink in the kiln, but because I want to have a bit of leeway um, with my cutting. Um, because uh, I don't want to have to go back and refire pieces because I've run out. So I've just made them a bit bigger in every direction to give myself some play. Um, I'm cleaning the glass before I start. I don't want to um, fire in any contaminants. And you see that I'm using a coloured design underneath and that's just to help me, to guide me as I lay on the powdered frit. And you'll remember from the video where I did samples the powder frit um, all looks more or less the same colour. I think one of them is slightly different in colour. But um, this is going to be largely done by sort of muscle memory. Um, and that's why it's important for me to do an entire section of windows that follow on from one another at the same time. Um, so I've swapped back to my original shaker because uh, that red shaker I was using, it was just dumping the powder um, in an inelegant way. Um, this tea strainer uh, seems to have just the right sized holes to get a nice uh, flow going. You have to keep a clear head when you're doing this sort of work um, because it's very easy to reach and grab the wrong uh, colour because uh, they all look the same colour until they've been fired. Um, so yes, I have made silly errors in the past in that way. Um, so uh, yeah, double check every time you pick up a new jar that you've picked up the right powder. I'm using transparent for it. I'm using marigold yellow orange, red and garnet red. I do want the very outside edge of this window to be paler so I'm going to lay on much less powder on the outside edge um, and that will be a pale yellow fading to clear. Now that I've done the top two panels of this left hand window, I've removed the top panel, moved the middle panel up and put the bottom panel underneath it so that I can try, like I was explaining, to get the flow all the way down the panels. And actually as a method this, this worked very nicely. Making the background panels in this way took about 
three weeks and I did it over the Christmas period. I would come in every day, fire the panels I'd powdered and then make some more. Um, so before I could even start making the window, I had to make all the background glass. And just so that you know, I'm using bullseye products. So you have to use compatible glass and frit, the same make in other words. Um, the, the glass underneath, the transparent glass, is called Tecta. And it's, it's used for this purpose. So now the frit is laid on and I'm happy with it. I'm going to put it in the kiln. So we're just going to have a look at my, um, oh dear, <laughs> that's not really what I intended, I mean it's, it's kind of interesting, but <laughs> um, yeah, not sure I can incorporate an enormous pair of bubbles into my window, um, but it's nice to see how the rest of the glass is looking because uh, I'm I'm happy with that that's that's really nice yeah um, I will cut I will obviously have to cut that bit off um, and see what I can use of this piece who knows maybe it's where a flower is that would be handy wouldn't it so we will see but um, yes, bit of a surprise. <laughs>